Christ 17 TV back at you with another one like I say and say and say and say we pushing peace man we don't want no more kids killed man we don't, we don't want no more grandmother shot nobody who's an innocent bystander or an innocent child hurt and struck by gunfire cause every day in a different city it's the same old shit these motherfuckers are straight on some evil coward shit they evil and they cowards in the same breath. But how can anybody do what these people are doing? What I call the devil's work. Because anybody who shoots a, a baby, a kid, an old lady, ain't nothing but a piece of shit. A dirt bag. The worst of the worst. The bottom of the barrel of the shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I label these motherfuckers as. Because it's constantly doing the same shit. How do you shoot up a car when a baby's in the car? How do you shoot somebody's girlfriend? Kill her? It's just shit is out of fucking control all the time. And I'm going to keep bringing awareness to it till more people catch on to this. And they catch like a wildfire. And we all push in peace and don't want no more kids killed because this shit is ridiculous man let me show you something that bothered me today bothered me and i need to chill because my blood my blood pressure been high the last week so i can't begin so mad as i want to but check out this bullshit that just a tragedy a one-year-old child is without his parents tonight after they were both shot and killed those suspects are still at large now tonight community members held a candlelight vigil A community gathers to mourn after a young couple was senselessly gunned down in front of their child. Their one-year-old baby also struck by gunfire Monday evening in Harbor City. Our friends are gone. Our loved ones are gone. This little baby that's orphaned. And it's happening time and time again. LAPD Harbor Division says 21-year-old Carlos Lorera and 18-year-old Ashley Guzman were shot to death while sitting in a parked car around 6.30 in the 1,000 block of West 253rd Street. Their baby boy survived despite being hit by gunfire while in a child safety seat in the back of the vehicle. Officials say the family was shot by someone who approached the car and then ran off. Carlos Lorera was killed on scene. Ashley Guzman died at the hospital. Miraculously, authorities say the child has now been released to the family after receiving medical treatment. Relatives and friends of the victims who gathered for a candlelight vigil did not want to talk, but are planning to hold another gathering Thursday, September 7th, Ashley's birthday. She would have turned 19. And that candlelight vigil will be held at Harbor City Park this Thursday, starting at 4.30 in the afternoon. In the meantime, anyone with any information on this case, on the suspects, you're encouraged to contact the LAPD. Reporting live tonight in San Pedro. When we gonna set a march for violence on kids? Kids been shot. When's that march gonna, gonna start? It's only when a cop shoots somebody. How about when people are shooting kids don't you think that's just as terrible or worse these are babies out here getting killed and, and slaughtered out here by gunshots one year old baby thank goodness the baby's alive the baby was shot along with the parents but the parents did not make it now this baby grows up with no mother and dad and when it sees the scar when it's older to know what's really going on is going to know that scar happened the day that my mother and father was killed and this right here is just the most saddening sickening shit for a parent to see on the news like i said it's every other fucking day or it's every day every damn day you could do a story on a child shot and it's usually in the car because these motherfuckers are shooting up the car. Whatever happened, I don't know what the guy's into. 
Okay, let's start right there. I don't know what he's into, but whatever he's into, you don't bring that to his child and his girlfriend. Whatever he did, whatever he's into, or even if he's just an innocent guy who mistake identity to car, whatever it is, you don't shoot up a car. You never know who's inside a fucking car, man. I don't know how many times I got to keep saying this. Why are people shooting into cars when in the back seat, it's usually a car seat in the back seat. And usually you're going to kill a kid. Thank God this baby didn't die. The baby's going to be okay. But for the rest of that baby's life, no father, no mother murdered in a sickening fashion. You run up to the car like a coward and you run away like a coward. Like I've said plenty of times, if you got something out for somebody... I don't condone violence, but get the person you out for. Don't hit a baby. Don't hit the mother of the baby. This shit is fucking ridiculous. And it's every single fucking day we got this going on. We need to push peace and stop the violence. But man, the, the violence on kids is out of fucking hand. How many babies would we going to lose before we march? Before this shit hits CNN? Huh? Where's Al Sharpton now? Where's Al Sharpton at now? Where's Jesse Jackson at when a, when a baby get killed? Not when a cop kills somebody and they can profit off this shit. How about the babies getting killed? The future of today and tomorrow. I don't get it. Nobody speaks up for shit. Rappers ain't saying none. The only one starting to say shit is the few guys from Chicago who's tired of having their friends and family murdered. King Yella, FYBJ Man, Ruger, Billionaire Black. When's it gonna be more people on the front line who's got a voice? Where's the NBA stars? Where's LeBron at? Where's all these motherfuckers with a voice? To let people understand that we're tired of the babies getting killed and shot. Now this baby has to grow up with no parents because somebody ran up on the car. Like I said, I have no idea what that man was into. But you don't shoot his fucking girlfriend and and the baby, okay? That's first of all. Second of all, how many times are we going to keep dealing with the same issue and we're not talking about this issue how many more babies and kids 10 8 5 4 3 2 1 got to get killed before somebody takes a stance on a big platform and says something about this shit it's absolutely sickening for somebody who has kids who are grown and one day hopefully i'll be a grandfather i don't want to be in the car with my grandbaby and somebody's shooting up and my baby gets hit and killed? Sometime, somewhere, we got to start and we need to stop this bullshit. We need to stop this. I mean, there got to be laws increased when you shoot a kid or something. Because this is just out of fucking hand. Every damn day, it's somewhere else. If it's not L.A., it's New York. If it's not New York, it's Chicago. If it's not Chicago, it's Houston, Oakland, every fucking where. When can we get a fucking break? These fucking kids are so fucking, I want to say pussy, because that's the right word to say, cowardly, that they don't give a fuck who they shoot. And like I say, man... A motherfucker that kills a kid who shoots a fucking kid. You should motherfucking not even be on this earth no more. I wish they could just snap their fingers and you're gone. Deleted. Like a text message. Delete that motherfucker off this motherfucking planet. Because that's the kind of shit no man, a real man, stands for. Violence against children. Violence against elderly. 
that's not the way we was brought up and that's not how a man handles his business. Men don't hurt women and children. They protect them. They're the protectors. They're not the motherfuckers who put the violence towards the women and children. That's cowards. That's sick, evil people. And something got to be fucking done. Tired of seeing these babies and these motherfucking grandmothers getting killed and shot because they in a car. And let me say this too. If you're running around and you got serious fucking beef where people are trying to kill you, why don't you not ride around with your family? If you got seriously beef like that, you better move far away if you're going to ride with your kids and take your kids to the mall and McDonald's and all that shit if people are looking for your ass. Because that's just the stupidest shit ever if you know somebody trying to kill you, but you riding around with, with your kid, with your girl, with your grandmother, taking her maybe to pick up her medicine, riding with your mama, anything. When you know people are out to take your head off, and now not only do they take your head off, they might take off somebody's head that you care that has nothing to do with the situation. And this is an ongoing thing every fucking day. Every motherfucking day, my brother. Check this out. Motherfuckers who kill kids ain't nothing but the devil, man. You're doing the devil's work. And a motherfucker who's 125 pounds soaking wet with skinny jeans running up and shooting up a car with kids in it, you ain't nothing but a punk. And they got something for you when you finally get caught because most of the motherfuckers that shoot kids, they get caught. That's a fact. And when you go to the prison system and they read your paperwork and see you a baby killer, guess what? <laughs> it's a rap for you, pal. It, yeah, a rap. Because somebody going to put something up in you. And it might be a knife and it might be something else that, you know, is going to be ugly. Either way, even in PC, motherfuckers going to find a way to get your ass. So with that being said, man, let's push peace, man. Stop the violence. And violence against children is at an all-time high. And we need to motherfucking really back up as people, human beings, as men and women. And, and, and got to talk about this more on a major platform. Everybody want to get all when a cop shoots somebody. But how about our kids, man? How about these babies getting slain in the streets that ain't got nothing to do with nothing, then asked to be brought in this world, and now they're getting taken out this world? Not even get to go to school yet, make friends, learn your ABCs yet. These kids are getting killed two, three years old, man, not even able to walk and talk yet. And they in baby caskets. Baby-sized caskets. I'll say that again. That's a horrible visual is a little casket for a little baby. That's sickening, man. I'm fucking sick of it. When are they going to speak up, man? Somebody fucking leave in the comment if you feel the fuck how I feel about this shit and you tired of seeing kids getting slain in the street over people's bullshit. I'm Christ 17 TV, and I'm sick and tired of this bullshit. Man, save the kids. Push in peace, man, and everybody have a blessed day and a blessed weekend, and stay safe, but stay dangerous. When I mean that, you might have to be dangerous to save you and your family's life one day. So keep that in mind, and please, stop the violence and stop the shooting of these kids, man. Man, let's make a change, man. It starts today, man.